checked off the puck. Ellis going after it in the corner. He banks it off the boards for Simpson. Simpson's hit hard by DeLille. DeLille getting involved here in the contest in the corner. Alfredson is there, and Talbot looking for a loose puck. Simpson is there as well, and Talbot and Simpson. And that'll draw the iron. The two of them are pushing and shoving and taking the extra shots. That started all in the corner because Miguel DeLille came in and threw his body into the corner. As Talbot again is tied up with Simpson, as that's who Talbot really wanted to get at in the first place anyways. But Miguel DeLille, he's fired up, and Killer has sensed that as he put him back out again, as that line is making things happen. We got a very physical contest, but you know, we saw in the intermission, St. Mike's, this is their style of game. This is what they like. Ottawa's playing into their hands and allowing Ottawa, sorry, allowing Toronto to stay with Ottawa. They've been skating hard. Toronto has, they've been working hard into the corners and they're throwing their body around, taking the extra shots after the whistle and Ottawa's replying. And as a result, Ottawa's gonna go down men again. DeLille throws his body into the corner. Good job, takes down Simpson. Then there's another hit from Alfredson. Following the lead of DeLille, his line mate, goes in, hits Boucher. Boucher goes down, Alfredson goes down and then Simpson takes exception to the hit he got. He says, well, there's a red shirt. I'll take the red shirt. Talbot's the one nearby. He just gives him a shot. It looked pretty clean to me. Just gave him a shot into the boards. Maybe got the stick up a little, or the fist up a little high. Not too bad, though. And then that caused guys to stick each other and tap and this, that, and the other thing. Yeah, one of the things we saw in the first period, Ottawa not winning too many face-offs as Toronto had to jump. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And even when Ottawa did get control of the faceoff. It wasn't for very long. There was always a Toronto major, St. Mike's major, right on them. Yep. But the second period is a little bit different. Yeah, right now, it's, uh, you have to think the way Ottawa's been going. Now, keep in mind, they, they've had the man advantage now for a little, they had it for about two and a half, almost three minutes at one point. What they've done is they've managed to outshoot Toronto. It was pretty even in the first period. I think it was an eight, seven or something in favor of St. Mike's, so that's a wash. In the second period, it's been seven, five, so that's pretty much a wash, but the face off speed, like you alluded to, has been the difference. Ottawa right now has won seven, out of 11 face-offs, and that's the real key. And Dan Tessier really hasn't been the one, you know, that they, they usually, sorry, they usually look to Dan Tessier, but he was out for half of that. Yep. The pedal is the same place, number nine, Brian Simpson, and number 10, Brian, uh, Chris Boucher. Two minutes each for roughing. And of the 67s, number 11, Henry Galfordson, and number 25, Joe Talbot. Two minutes each for roughing as well. Time of the penalties, 10-10. So some coincidental penalties being given to both teams here as the penalty boxes are uh, filling up and one more penalty for Ottawa and there won't be any room in there. Uh, I don't think there's a